Hi, Mick here for Guitarist with a look at two new guitars for 2015 from Gretsch. They're both Brian Setzer signature models. The first one, which I'm holding in my hands, is the 6120 Brian Setzer Nashville. And the one on the stand there is the 6120 Brian Setzer Hot Rod. Before we get into the similarities and differences between the two guitars, um, I thought I'd do something very obvious for the benefit of anyone who's not overly familiar with the sound of Gretsch guitars. I've got a Strat here, I've got a PRS DGT, and what I'm gonna do is just run through some simple chords and notes um, to just put the Gretsches in context. Obviously, uh, we've got a Strat, you hear that every day in, in all music, pretty much, uh, and a mahogany-bodied guitar with humbuckers. Um, the two sort of staples of the guitar world, if you like. So we'll just play them all back to back so you can put the Gretsch uh, in that context. So let's start with the Strat, and before we get going, I'll just explain what's happening uh, in the rest of the signal chain. There's a J Rocket Archer on the floor set to a kind of very mild boost. Um, the amp I'm using is a Supro Royal Reverb, which you can hear elsewhere in the demos for issue 398 of Guitarist. Right, so without further ado. You've just heard the bridge pickups, uh, let's flick to the neck pickups. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, just some really brief playing bits to show, you know, just to put the Gretsch in context. As you can hear, it kind of sits in its own place sonically. You'll know that from records all over the years. Uh, Chet Atkins, Dwayne Eddy, and of course, not least, Brian Setzer himself. So, to these new guitars. Why are there two guitars? Well, they're subtly different. So, let's start with the similarities. Um, the bodies are the same, based on the 6120 Chet Atkins uh, Gretsch, which is two and three quarter inches deep. The pickups are the same. They're a new set of TV Jones, Brian Setzer uh, pickups based on the TV classics. But unbeknownst to Brian, um, Tom Jones, TV Jones, was working on a set of pickups while Brian was on tour. Tom works on uh, Brian's guitars. And all of a sudden, one day, Brian turns around and says, I'm noticing something different about these uh, pickups, what's going on? And Tom says, yeah, I've changed them a bit. The point being more clarity, more punch in the low mids and bass. So. Um, according to TV Jones anyway, somewhere between the TV Classic and the more powerful uh, pickup in the range. So same body, same pickups, same bridge. Uh, on the sets of models it's pinned, so you don't have to worry about it uh, moving around, which is really helpful. Um, ebony fingerboard, uh, the necks are the same, maple, uh, the body's all laminate maple, as you'd expect. Now, where the guitars differ, the hot rod is much more stripped down. It has a single master volume, and a pickup selector, that's it. Whereas the Nashville has individual volume controls for each pickup, and then on this bout here, a master volume control. These switches can often be the cause of some confusion. Uh, this one is a pickup selector, bridge pickup, neck pickup, both pickups on together. And this is a tone control, which has varying levels of highs rolled off and different output levels. Uh, I'll demonstrate that in, the, in a minute. In addition, the Nashville is a little fancier. It's got bound F holes here, oversized F holes. And depending on which color you go for, here's where it gets slightly confusing. Some of the Nashvilles have nitrocellulose lacquer instead of urethane lacquer, which is on all of the hot rods. Now this is interesting because um, all of the professional line Gretches are made in Japan, outside of the custom shop, which are made in America, but the vast majority of Gretches that you see uh, are made in Japan, and for years they've been using urethane lacquers, not nitrocellulose. So this is uh, among the first kind of normal 
priced Gretsch guitars that has a, a nitro finish, which will please a lot of people. Finishing off with uh, locking tuners, which Brian um, seems to like, uh, and the all important Bigsby. Oh yeah, this one's got a pick guard, that one hasn't. Right, enough yabber, let's, uh, let's plug them in and see what they sound like. Thank you. 